All right, guys, what's going on? It's yours truly. I promised that I would do this video. I'm, I'm actually sitting down for once because I've been out uh, working in my garage. I'm rebuilding my workshop. I need to, you know, reclaim my, my home because uh, I have a bunch of, like, the stuff in here that really belongs in the garage. I'm also doing some other work, so I'm tired and I'm sitting down. Hopefully you don't mind this presentation. Um, but, uh, yeah, I promised I would do this video, so let's just get right down to it. Uh, I made a previous Nerd Stuff video about my horrific experience with the Elgato face cam. Um, and the solu the immediate solution was to use a different cable. I'm going to leave a link in the description because I'm still currently using it. Because the included USB cable is still no good. Um, even after all the stuff that I did to make it work, this thing still just does not want to cooperate. It's very unfortunate. Um, but maybe not all is lost, and I'll get into why later on. Uh, but nonetheless... Uh, link in the description to the cable that saved my butt. Uh, but I did do some things, and it seemed to have made a significant difference. Uh, right now, I am recording using the Elgato face cam. Uh, so let's just go ahead and get right down to business. Uh, so right now, I have the camera hub open, and I'm able to interact with this thing uh, exactly the way that it was intended to. Uh, so right now, it says video preoccupied or video preview occupied because I'm using it in OBS. So if we go over here to the top right-hand corner. You can uh, go ahead and check for updates. And right now I am up to date according to the Elgato Camera Hub. And of course you can go ahead and click automatically check for updates or you know mess with these settings. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna leave this like this because everything works and I would hate to update this and then it just fail. Um, another thing you can do, top left hand corner, right where it says devices, you have these three little lines. I'm holding, right now I'm holding left control and then I'm clicking uh, left click and now we have the Elgato face cam uh, factory reset button and we also have the ability to update the firmware so go ahead and click on update firmware and of course I'm up to date but I promise you prior to doing this I did have an older version so that might have something to do with the performance issues that I experienced um, very unfortunate, but yeah, I'll be able to, you know, mess with the ISO, I'll be able to use this software now the way that it was intended to, and everything works really, really well. It's very responsive. Uh, this is the experience that I expected right out of the box. Of course, I didn't get it and I had to do all this stuff. Um, uh, so yeah, now, uh, another thing that they, that Elgato themselves recommended me, by the way, um, before you do any of this stuff, please contact Elgato, well, actually, try whatever you need to try to get your camera to work but also contact Elgato and let them know that you're experiencing issues but of course be very kind and respectful um, although I've had a not so good experience with the camera it's currently working really well I'm very pleased with it and um, my customer service experience has also been incredibly positive uh, Elgato or Corsair they have been responding to me very quickly they uh, appear to be giving me genuine uh, answers not some pre-scripted nonsense they genuinely in my opinion are, are concerned about my grievances and they are doing their best in, in, in my estimation to rectify the problems that I have so again I just like to reiterate I have no ill will towards this product towards Elgato or Corsair I have a lot of Elgato and Corsair products I've been a customer of Corsairs for quite some time so this is coming uh, from from love uh, of these companies or this company uh, and also the, the love of, of, of my fellow gamers of uh, future content creators I want you guys to be armed with the tools and knowledge necessary to uh, you know overcome these technical issues and in the the my main beef is with these big content creators and again I have no hatred or ill will towards any of them but I swear on my life they mentioned they had connectivity issues they had uh, you know some 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 initial problems setting up the camera and they glossed over them they didn't go over them at all so my my message to Elgato and Corsair is you need to impress upon the people that you sponsor or the people that you're affiliated with or, you know the, the, the business you do with these uh, other influencers and you need to impress upon them that they need, they need to be honest and you know in in and in and um, in, in really speak honestly about the problems uh, with the products that you guys provide for them. I imagine they got these products for free. I know that seems to be, you know, the, the industry standard if, if they got, you know, uh, you know, tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of views per video, like Alpha Gaming or uh, Epos Vox. And again, I have no ill will towards these guys. I've watched their content before. They're incredibly intelligent dudes. 
Uh, but uh, and, and again, I, I could be. I'm, I'm pretty sure it was Epos Vox or Alpha Gaming. There was quite a few of them that mentioned this connectivity problem. Super annoying. Anyways, back to uh, troubleshooting and fixing it. Uh, and by the way, this fix is actually something that was recommended by Elgato's uh, customer support team. And it's this software here called Driver Booster 8 Pro, or is it 8.6, whatever. And uh, this worked really, really well. So they did two things. They provided me a link to a driver page for my specific motherboard because I sent them all this uh, personal private information about the specs of my PC. And uh, so they know everything about my board. They probably know more about the board better than I do, to be honest. And I used to build computers for people and stuff. I was, I'm, I'm a huge nerd. Uh, so nonetheless, uh, I, I promise you, I, I installed the latest version of, of all these drivers you know, whatever, and uh, apparently I, I, I probably didn't do it right because I was tired or I just wasn't paying attention or whatever. I thought I did it correctly. Uh, the, the CD that is provided uh, for this motherboard, uh, I'm too lazy to get it, and plus the drivers on there are probably out of date. Uh, so, yeah, um, even then, even then, um, when I went to uh, use Driver Booster 8 Pro and I went ahead and scanned it, it's a pretty quick process, and it gave me a list of, um, you know, uh, items that needed to be updated that, that needed drivers, uh, current drivers. And there were 34 uh, or maybe a little bit more than 34. So, of course, I updated them. And uh, for once in my life, I actually paid for, um, you know, the software. It was only 22 bucks. Um, and, and they got everything for me, installed everything for me, and I only restarted once. And, of course, you get a bunch of other features. Uh, one issue that I have with this software is that uh, I only get it for a year because it's all, like, license-based and stuff. I think that's kind of lame. I, I would have rather owned it, but whatever. Uh, I don't know how, how often I'm going to use this stuff anyways. So, um, so with that being said, it's kind of lame that uh, unless you really know what you're doing and you're committed to finding all the drivers for your motherboard and for, or for your system, uh, this is the easiest way. And I did a little bit of research about this product, and it's very well-reviewed. It, it seems to be uh, a favorite among uh, you know, the, the, the tech review world, uh, at least in regards to this type of uh, software or this category of software where they... You know, they, they install the drivers. There's all kinds of uh, programs that, that do this, but apparently this is one of the best ones, and this is what Elgato recommended. And uh, on, on, a, on another note, kind of unrelated, uh, my computer's pretty beefy. It's got an i7 Coffee Lake, so I think that's, what, 9th gen? Now we're at, like, 10 or 11 or something like that. And um, I had no issues playing any game. My computer, 16 gigs of RAM, i7, Coffee Lake, whatever, and everything runs really great. Uh, everything I throw at it, no problems, like GTA 5, uh, COD, etc., Warzone, um, except for one game, and that was Tropico 6. As soon as you introduce, like, the, you know, team ports and these other docky, uh, other little uh, private docking station thingies, and there's a bunch of little boats in the water, uh, for whatever reason, my computer just, you know, it starts stuttering, and the, the game performance significantly declines. Well, after using the driver booster and getting all of the all of the drivers and all of the little programs or whatever necessary for my computer to run the way that it was supposed to. Once I got everything installed and re restarted the PC, etc., um, Tropico Six runs really well. Uh, so that's just my experience. I guess that's my review of Driver Booster. Uh, what else do we have here? Um, so the Elgato, here's an image uh, that they sent me uh, because they got all my specs. They got all the information about my, my system. And Elgato recommended to me that I plug in the Elgato face cam uh, to these ports here. Uh, so this is uh, so the USB Type C port on the back panel with USB 3.1 Gen 2 support. So it's a, very, it's a USB C port. Uh, so in order to connect the Elgato face cam, to this USB Type-C port is I would need a USB Type-C mail to USB Type-C mail cable. Uh, and, and the funny thing is, is I do have it. I haven't tried this yet. I don't know why I didn't think to do this. Uh, but that cable, that USB uh, Type-C mail to USB Type-C mail uh, is not included. Uh, so you would need to spend money, more money already, uh, to utilize this product. Which is kind of lame, but you know uh, this is a solution. And then uh, you could probably get away with 
uh, using uh, the USB Type-C uh, cable or... U yeah, uh, sorry, I'm getting all tired. You can probably utilize the cable that is included in the Elgato Facecam package uh, with this port here, uh, the USB 3.1 Gen 2 Type-A port, red on the back panel. Uh, yeah, this is... Um, I, I don't know why I didn't think to use this, uh, probably because I was so frustrated and angry. Uh, but yeah, these these ports. Uh, one, they should. They I, I know the USB Type C uh, port works because I plugged in a boroscope uh, and I did a video on that. I plugged in uh, the my um, my Skull Candy. Um, you know. Uh, USB Type C earbuds, which are very fantastic. Everything just the, the, this port works. Uh, but and I do have that cable. I just didn't think to do it. Uh, so this is what they recommended. Now, prior to doing all of this, I had the Elgato camera plugged into a USB uh, 3.0 port in the front of my PC, and now and then it was like still freezing and giving me issues. And now I have it plugged into the back, and that is after updating all the drivers and and of course uh you're seeing me on video i'm using the elgato face cam and it's working really really well guys it's working really really well um so yeah um i'm not gonna mess with this anymore because it works and i've been recording for what 11 minutes already and i'm not freezing there's no um performance issues whatsoever uh i might try that that red um that red usb port uh, because I haven't tried it yet with, with the included cable. Uh, but yeah, this included cable, even after I did all this stuff, and I plugged this into the front of the PC, I plugged it into the back, the included Elgato uh, USB cable that they provided just doesn't work. It doesn't work at all. Uh, it's really it's really frustrating, and it looks like it's in great condition. I know it's brand new, but it doesn't appear damaged. It doesn't appear any you know gunkiness or, or, or funky nonsense going on. Uh, so yeah, guys, I, I really hope all of this information is helpful. Uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to the cable that I'm using currently, um, and I'm also gonna leave a link in the description for a USB mail to US or USB Type C mail to USB Type C mail as well, in case you want to try that as well. Uh, but if you have a red uh, USB port, like the one that I that I showed you, I'd try that. Um, I, I don't know why I thought... You know what I thought? I always thought that was like a firmware. Um, it, never mind. It doesn't matter. I'm getting way ahead of myself. It, uh, I'm stupid. Um, but yeah, uh, I'm also going to leave a link in the description to a thread from Reddit uh, that somebody linked to in the comment section of the previous nerd stuff video uh, regarding this camera. Uh, that might be useful, it might be helpful. Uh, but in the meantime, uh, this is what I had to do. Uh, so with that being said, um, you can get the drivers and stuff for free. Uh, I, and I ended up, you know, cheating and using the driver booster and paying the money. Uh, if you're not tech savvy or, or uh, you know, this is going to be difficult. Uh, getting all the right drivers, ensuring that everything is up to date. Uh, I guess you can get the driver booster and you can see what you need and then you can look for them yourselves manually. Uh, it just sucks, man. Um, you know, I just, I didn't have this problem with the Elgato, um, you know, the, 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 the USB, uh, what's it called? Goodness, why am I, uh, the, the USB capture card. I don't have a problem with that. Plugging in my, my GoPro to it. I mean, that's how I've been doing videos for a while. I just wanted something a little bit more simple, something that just works instantly. Uh, so, yeah, if you guys if you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to ask me uh, in the comment section. I've been responding to as many as I can. Again, I just this is all out of love. You know, it's like I love, you know, my fellow gamers. I love the content community. I know there's a lot of future content creators that are looking to buy this product. And while I do like it, and, and, and it's a beautiful camera, and, and I like how it's large and, and it's got a lot of airflow uh, flowing through it, so it's not going to overheat or anything like that. I mean, there's a lot of good things to say about this camera, but I think they really, uh, you know, dropped the ball with the software rollout aspect of this. And I think they got to do a lot of tweaking. They got to do a lot of changes so this thing can run a lot smoother, run a lot better, th run the way that it's being advertised with some of these content creators like Apos Vox and uh, Alpha Gaming. I know I'm, 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 I feel like I'm kind of singling them out, but I know there was a handful of uh, other content creators that were reviewing this camera specifically. And they, 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 they literally said that they had connectivity issues, but they didn't bother going in depth. And, um, yeah, I mean, do I recommend this product? You're probably going to have to spend a little bit of money if it doesn't work right out of the box. You're going to have to get extra cables. 
You might have to do a uh, you know significant amount of research, seeing if there's drivers that are that are necessary for your computer that you never bothered uh, you know installing or updating, etc. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of work. But now that I got everything working, now that I got all my ducks in order, the camera appears to be running well. It's been it's been performing exactly as advertised by some of the content creators here on the platform. And uh, it just looks great in the controls, the camera hub. It, it, it works really, really darn well. Uh, one thing that I would like for Elgato to do is make it a little bit easier to update the firmware or reset this thing to its factory settings. Um, uh, I don't know. I just, you know, I just, I feel like that would be necessary. I, I don't know. I think that's important. Uh, I didn't know that you had to do the control, uh, left control, left click. Uh, again, I got that from a user in the comment section. So shout out to you, buddy. Thank you. You're awesome. Because I wouldn't have thought to do something like that. Uh, so yeah, man. Um, Gato, man, just help us out. Uh, all you other, uh, if, if this gets into the, if a content creator sees this, uh, you guys got to be honest, man. You got a lot of future content creators. You got a lot of future creators watching your videos, looking up to you guys. And um, you're not being honest. Uh, just flat out, you're not being honest. Um, I, I, I don't know. Uh, I, I just have to reiterate. I don't know if it was Epos Vox or Alpha Gaming, but it might have been one or the other. And, uh, you know, and, and of course, a handful of other guys uh, who were reviewing this camera. And they had this issue. But they didn't elaborate, so they were able to fix it themselves, or they had a contact at Elgato or Corsair, and they got it rectified right away. But um, I've been struggling with this for a couple days now, or a few days now, and I had to figure this out on my own. Uh, fortunately, uh, shout out to the friendly people in the comment section to the previous Nerd Stuff video. Um, again, all the relevant links are going to be in the description. Hope this video was helpful. It's running a little bit too long. i got to get back into the garage. Peace.